What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I have a few uh, clips to show you guys today, and I'm actually working on a Sunday. Now, you guys know I, I like to work Monday through Friday, but I have to get this information out to you because I think it's very important, and we're so close to this election. I just want you guys to have all the information so when you go in and vote, uh, you can make a, a, an informed decision. Okay, So I'm not telling you how to vote. I'm just showing you. A couple of days ago, I showed you President Biden. This was back in 1995, pretty much talking about the balancing the budget and how we should sunset these different programs. Okay, when I say sunset the programs, basically what I'm saying is they should look into the programs every year, or every five years. This is some stuff that we've been hearing from re Republicans lately. But S President Biden, when he was a senator, he did say that back in 1995. No, this was a this was a long time ago. And President Biden has come back and said, look, you know, I, I, I don't feel that way. Now I think we should preserve Social Security and Medicare. And they actually want to, he wants to expand uh, Social Security uh, as well as try to bring down the cost when it comes to Medicare. So that's what he's saying now, President Biden. Uh, but today we're going to talk about Senator Mike Lee because Senator Mike Lee, he's a Republican. He's a Republican in Utah. He's actually running for reelection this year. Uh, so people will be voting for him in a couple of days. And so I think it's really important for us to get this out and uh, let you see how he felt. Now, this video, this video that I'm going to show you, I'm going to actually lead you into the video first. But this video that I'm going to show you, this was back in 2010. OK, so it was about 12 years ago. So this wasn't recent. But nonetheless, he is talking about Social Security. He's talking about Medicare. And he's saying some pretty scary things about Social Security and Medicare. So that's what we're going to focus on today. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. That way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. We do daily videos here. So by clicking all, you should be getting our updates every day. Okay, so first off, if you guys did not check out my video, I posted a video yesterday just talking about I had an intruder in my house. So you, you guys need to check that video out. It's a, it's a, it's a story time video, okay? So it's, I'm not talking about politics. I'm not talking about Social Security or anything like that. But you will get a kick out of this story. I thought it was pretty funny, and this happened to me. And so you, you guys need to watch it, okay? So I'll post a link. I'll post a link up here. And at the end of this video, I will uh, post a link so you guys can go ahead and click over and, and take a look at it. I'm starting a new series. I'll be doing these videos from time to time, maybe at least once a week, where I'll just be telling you guys stories about things that are going on in my life, um, nothing that's related to Social Security or anything. Actually, retirement, it'll be related to retirement, some of the, the stories, but I just want to kind of share my life with you guys as well. So we're not just talking about uh, Social Security all the time. We can talk about some other things on the channel as well. And in the comments, you guys can share your stories with me as well. I had some people in the comments let me uh, know about some intruders that they had. So I thought that was really, uh, really interesting. One, one person had, they actually had a guy that was in their house. And the guy uh, drank too much and went to the wrong house and ended up inside of their house. I, and he said that, that the, the person slept there for a couple of hours and then got up and then realized that he was in the wrong house now, after they woke up <laughs> and saw him in, in the house. Uh, by the way, he was completely naked, <laughs> which is crazy. So let's go ahead and get to uh, the, the, the story that we're going to be talking about today. So I'm going to show you a couple of different clips, and then I'll show you uh, Senator Mike Lee uh, talking about Social Security. So last week, Senator Scott was interviewed on Sunday. And in this interview, he was asked these questions, and we'll play this right here. And then I'll show you Fox News. I'll show you a Sean Hannity. He's going to be pretty much talking about Republicans and, and how they feel about Social Security. And then we'll play uh, Senator Mike Lee. So let's go ahead and play Rick Scott first. Here we go. Do you support raising the eligibility age for Medicare and Social Security? No. OK. Do you support cutting back on Medicare benefits or reducing Social Security payments in order to keep the program solvent? No, and I don't know one Republican that does. OK, so that is just a quick little clip. Now, you heard that last part. I don't know one Republican that wants to do anything when it comes to cutting Social Security, cutting Medicare. Uh, so he did say that. Right now, let's let's show uh, Sean Hannity, Sean Hannity. Uh, was talking about Social Security as well, and, and this is what he said. This will be a very quick clip. Here we go. 
dirty water. You're plotting and planning and scheming to take away Social Security and Medicare, although not a single Republican has ever said it, and none of them will ever do it. Okay, so that was Sean Hannity. Not a single, not a single Republican wants to do away with Social Security or Medicare. And he doesn't, I mean, and they'll never do it, is, is basically what he's saying. Okay, so now let's play Senator Mike Lee. Now, it's important, and we'll talk a little bit about this after this clip, but this is before he became senator. So he was running for senator. He was actually uh, just doing um, a speech at a restaurant, basically talking to people, doing a Q&A, answering questions. And uh, this was the Q&A portion. And so let's listen to what he has to say. And at the very, very end, you, you have to really focus on what he's saying because there's a lot of different noise going on and stuff. But hear what he says at the very end, which I think is just just amazing that he said this. Here we go. Okay, Chris said it right. It's a, it's a systematic dismantling. First of all, uh, one of the biggest places where we have to start is, I believe, with entitlements. There's nothing in here that gives them the power to redistribute my wealth. And yet that's what entitlement programs are. They are wealth redistribution. For generations now, we've had generations that have been born, lived their entire lives, and died under this sort of cradle-to-grave nanny state that we've created, in which it has been utterly taboo to even mention the term social security in the same sentence with reform, reduction, phase-out, elimination, privatization. It's been taboo. People won't do it. I'm here right now to tell you one thing that you probably haven't ever heard from a politician. It will be my objective to phase out Social Security, nice. to pull it up by the roots and get rid of it. Here, here, here. Um, people who advise me politically always tell me that's dangerous, and I tell them, in that case, it's not worth my running. That's why I'm doing this, to get rid of that. Medicare and Medicaid are of the same sort and need to be pulled up. Now, there are going to be growing pains associated with doing this. We can't do it all at once. We do have generations that have relied on this that have quasi-contractual uh, rights in it that have an expectation interest. We have to hold harmless those who are current beneficiaries, those who have retired and are currently receiving those benefits. Their benefits have to be left untouched, unchanged, unfazed. Um, the, the, the next layer beneath them, those who will retire within the next few years, probably also have to be held harmless. At some point on the other end of the spectrum, people born after a certain date, perhaps born uh, after 1970, as I was, probably need to be told, look, you're never going to get a dime. You're going to have to continue paying this tax into the system so that we can continue to afford it for those to whom we've committed irrevocably to do it. But you're never going to get a dime. Okay, so... That last part, did you hear the last part? Obviously, this is this whole thing. I mean, he's he's sh just saying it out loud. I want to do away with Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Okay, so there's no getting around that. Now, he was questioned about this, and he says he doesn't remember ever saying that. That was his response, which that's not the response. I mean, if... if Obviously, the, the, this video is out, okay? So, and he, he knew that he said that. He was just trying to hope that this wasn't brought to light. But in a situation like this, I would rather hear him say, you know what, what I said was wrong, and I don't feel that way anymore, than say, I don't remember ever saying that. Because this is something that he deeply believes, and that's why he said it uh, back in 2010. And so that last part, if you caught that last part, so he was talking about people who are currently receiving Social Security, they're not going to touch that. So those people would still be able to receive Social Security. And then people who would be retiring soon, like maybe a couple of years, uh, he wouldn't be touching their Social Security as well. But the people from, I think he said 1970 on, uh, they, would have, they wouldn't be able to get Social Security anymore. But the key thing that he said there is they would continue to have to pay into the payroll tax because they have to be able to uh, pay for the people who are currently on receiving Social Security, but they would get nothing out of it when they retire. Just think of how crazy that is and think, I mean, would people do that? I mean, I, I can't see people just saying, you know what, yeah, I'll just go ahead and pay in my payroll tax. I'll pay the 6.2%. Companies will pay the 6.2%. 
to go to pay. I mean, it's, it's good to help people who are retired, but you're not going to get Social Security when you retire. That That's crazy. That's crazy that he would say that. That's I mean, I, I just couldn't believe it when I heard that. Uh, but you hear him saying that, clearly saying, look, we're, we're going to phase out. This is what I want to do. I want to phase out Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Okay, there's no mistaking that. That's what he said. Okay, so when you see Senator Scott in the clip that I showed you, the first clip that I showed you, saying that he doesn't know a Republican that would, this is a current sitting senator. Mike Lee is a sitting senator right now, and he's running for re-election. And so that's flat out wrong. Senator Scott said, I don't know anyone that would want to, you know, any Republican that would want to make any cuts to Social Security. Not only does Mike Lee want to make cuts, he wants to get rid of it completely. And then you saw Sean Hannity come out and say there's not a single Republican that would would ever um, touch Social Security or that would ever want to touch Social Security and make cuts. But obviously, uh, th this clip shows us a different light, right? Now, this is one of those things where you, you saw it was just a, it was recorded. Someone was recording on their phone. This is not something that was you know that was aired like a live coverage. There was no media there. It was just a person that was on their phone recording this. And so he probably was hoping that nobody was recording when he was saying these things. And I'm sure he said it before. This is not the first time uh, that he's talked about that. And you notice he uses the, the word entitlement program, entitlement program, a program that you pay into, but it's an entitlement program. So just really, really uh, insensitive when it comes to, to what he is saying. And so that is the fear. Now, the good news on this whole story, and there is good news when it comes down to it, because Senator Mike Lee said this before he was a senator, and he got elected anyway after saying stuff like this. And you see, there, there are older people. Okay, I, Chris know, said it right it's, here. It's, it's, there, there are older people that are in this, in this audience. And, like, what could they be thinking? Like, this guy's talking about doing away with social security and you don't know like he, he's saying well no we're, we're going to keep it going for the people who are currently receiving it uh well, what if these people are a couple of years away from it uh and you know so it, it's just i mean it's it's really crazy to to see a politician just flat out come out and just say they want to do away uh with social security one of the most popular programs uh, it is the, the most popular program uh, that we have. And so I don't know where this is going to go. And, and like I said, the, the, the silver lining of this or the good news is that they haven't cut Social Security. So Mike Lee said that that's what he wanted to do. And that was you know something that he was going to get done. It hasn't gotten done. OK, so that is the silver lining. That is the good news. Now, uh, if thing if everything is in place. And you have, because all it's going to take is a few politicians to get together, maybe five senators to get together, create a bill that has some cuts in it and, and kind of focuses on maybe privatizing Social Security or uh, making some cuts or just reducing the taxes that are, that are coming in from the, the payroll tax that are going to Social Security. And that could kill Social Security all, altogether, right? And so we're just going to have to follow it and see where it goes. Make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell notification. That way you'll get all the notifications. I'm going to keep you guys up to date when it comes to these politicians and how they feel about, uh, about Social Security and, and Medicare, because I think this is something that, that we, we all need to hold our feet to the fire. Politicians are afraid to talk out loud and say that they want to do away with Social Security, but you have politicians there that want to do away with Social Security. Okay, that that's that is a fact. And they'll tell you no, but they're going to find ways, different little ways to really kind of, you know, take little p bits and pieces of Social Security away. And that's that's the sunsetting, sunsetting the, the the programs every five years or sunsetting them every year where you have to look into the program and approve. You know, Congress will have to approve uh, moving forward the program. That's the, a good way for them to cut the program. Because all they need to do is say, well, we're not going to move forward. We're not going to agree, so we're not going to move forward. And the, the program will get frozen. And if it gets frozen, even for a month or two, that is going to affect so many. 70 million people will be affected by that. So 
I, I want to know what you guys think about this, so let me know down below. This is one of those stories where uh, you, you have people, and you should never, as a politician, you should never come out and say, I never knew of a politician that did this or did that. I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican, you should never say that because you're, you're, the media will find these different little clips and uh, show you wrong, and that's basically what's happening here. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens in the future. Like I said, uh, tune in for more. Make sure you uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.